Hello everyone, today I just want to show you this really cool update for the Xbox Live app. Because now there has come out an update that allows you to remote control the console with the iPad. Um, so I'm just going to show you this. If you go to Quick Play, you can connect your console. Um, I believe most of you have an iPhone which is a lot smaller. But on the iPad you get this really big screen. So now this thing is connected. So the thing I can do is for example go here and click this and look at this. Look at that. I can now remote control the entire console using these buttons. So I can for example go to my games, game marketplace. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Wii U, like how the Wii U is going to be. Except the iPad technology is far beyond what the Wii U is going to be, but you know. So we can like go around and look at the things like this. But we can also look at the screen itself. And for example, go to like the games and browse my games. So I can, for example, choose something like Banjo Kazooie. I realize the only way to actually launch this game on the Xbox is by uh, clicking View Achievements, then go to the left, and there's this button there Play Now. If you click that, it should take you to the, the Banjo Kazooie menu. And here in the quick play section there are like six different games you can play so I'm hitting the Minecraft and it instantly takes me to the Minecraft screen. And this kind of shocked me actually but you're able to control the menus in Minecraft with the iPad. That kind of surprised me actually. I tried this with other games but it doesn't work. So as you can see I can start the game just fine using the iPad. But playing the game itself does not work. You cannot walk, you cannot jump, or anything. So, I think, like, I mean, you're not going to be playing a game with the iPad. You're just going to bring up the controller. But I think it's going to be great for, like, other things. Like, you can stream video from there and over to this console. That's going to be, oh, wow. That's going to be great, you know. So, I think that's what this thing is going to be great for doing. And also, this controller is a little bit simplistic. I mean, it, we could have had a little more buttons. I guess it's because it's for iPhone as well. They wanted to keep it really small and scale down. But come on, on an iPad screen, look at how much black there is. We could at least have a home button and a start button. So really, right now, since we can't play the game, the only way to get back... It, okay, where did the X button go now? So really, now since there's no home button, the only way to get back is by just closing this controller and just launching a different game. I mean, simple as that. So now the game takes me to the portal menu, so I can choose to start the game, or I can just go back out, and here I am, at the menu. So yeah, I think it's right now it's a bit of a gimmick, I mean, why are we gonna use this? But just the fact that you can, like, launch things here and, like, have a look at things, it's kind of cool, at least for it being kind of beta. They said that this is going to be called the Xbox Smart Glass. So far they don't call it that, they just call it the Xbox Companion. So I guess it's not really the full thing and you can't really do anything more spectacular than this. But it is really cool though, that you can like remote control it. It kind of reminds me of like the Wii U in a way. So, I mean it's not really going to be the same thing because with the Wii U you gotta be playing actual games. It's gonna be the actual controller, this isn't the actual controller but you know it's gonna be nice for like specific mini games where you can like do things on the screen you can see things on the screen and also see things happening here that's gonna be great you know so yeah I really can't wait to see what they're gonna do with this in the future and hope you enjoyed